Yes, to whom am I speaking? Ah, Detective Richard. This is Ivy Crane. I would like to report a theft. It's a bird statue. The person who stole it... Uh, I'm sorry, officer. My wife's made a mistake. That's right, there's been no theft. Well, thank you. What do you think you're doing? Are you mad if you completely snap? Do you realize what this could do to our family? You will never do that to me again. Do you hear me? Never do what again? Snatch the phone out of my hand when I am speaking on it. I don't know what you're getting so exercised about. I mean, just because you lost one of your bird knick-knacks, one of the maids probably walked off with it. Oh, one of the maids? Really, Julian? Oh, there's no reason to get the police involved. The last thing we need is for Louise Lopez Fitzgerald to start sniffing around the mansion using some silly investigation as carte blanche to probe into her life. Well, if you're finished with your lame protestations, Julian, I was merely trying to report the loss of something you've been trying to find. I? No games, Julian. I know that you and Eve have been looking for a certain bird statue. I even know you looked for it in the city dump. What on earth? Oh, please. You just wasted your time, Julian. I have the bird statue right here in my hands. But then your lover stole it back. Oh, yes. The wonderful Dr. Russell grabbed the bird statue and flew from my house. I haven't the faintest idea what you're talking about. I'm talking about what makes your blood run cold, Julian. Whatever is concealed in that bird statue, proof that you had an affair with Eve. Oh, when the media gets a hold of that, they'll splash it in the newspapers and magazines. I can just see Alistair's face as he watches it play out on the evening news. You are being ridiculous. Really? He'll probably jump Ethan right over you. And name him heir. You know what they say about never bluff a bluffer? You keep tossing out these little hints about what you know, but if you had any real proof about anything, you'd be screaming it from the rooftops, not trying to trick me into some sort of admission that proof actually existed. But we both know it exists, Julie. Give it up, Ivy. You'll never get anything on me. <laughs> you actually think you've won. What are you thinking of coming here? Where's DC? He's out, but he'll be back in a minute. Ivy told me you stole the bird statue. What? I said, Julian, I said my husband will be right back. I didn't even know she had it. Get out, Julian! How did this happen? I found the bum. I paid him to tell me who he sold the statue to. He showed me an advertisement with a phone number. I called the phone number, and it turned out to be Ivy. Yes, I was right. Ivy's been desperate to come up with something to hold over my hand. If she'd found those photos, she would have had something to hold over both our heads. Bite your tongue. My whole family would have been destroyed. She isn't going to find it. No one is, because we are going to destroy it right now. I couldn't open it. TC couldn't either. You just didn't say the secret words, now did you? Open sesame. My son isn't about to take over the business, not until I'm in my grave. I don't plan on being dead for quite a long time. Is this damn thing made of kryptonite? Just hurry, Julian. And if I can't crack the damn thing open with this, then no one else could either. No, Eve. Ivy didn't see those photos. She was bluffing. Oh, thank God no one saw those photos. Yes. My life as I knew and love it would be over. TC would probably do me in with this poker. Well, what should I do with the statue? i just get rid of it. Incinerate the damn thing. I don't want it to ever resurface again. Although I would have enjoyed it. Having another look at those photos, you and I could have uh, relived old times together. No, Julian. Eve. It's so sedate these days. I remember when you used to singe me with your heat. You seared me, you remember? 
Just stay away from me, Julia. Ooh, as you well know, I'm always up at playing games. What's this one? Poker, poker, who's got the poker? Oh my God, that's TC. Eve, is that you? Get out, Julia, you have to get out. You just get rid of that damn bird. Destroy it. I never want to lay eyes on it again. Well, Pilar, you know, you win some, you lose some. I guess I'm just going to have to leave it up to fate. Oh. Well, Pilar, I thought you left ages ago. I needed to speak to Mrs. Crane about something. Anything I can help you with? No, thank you. It's all been straightened out. I'll say good night, then. I'll see you in the morning, Pilar. Good night, Pilar. <clears throat> hmm. Why is this man smiling? I have been looking forward to a snifter of hundred-year-old cognac all day. Oh, well, pour me one of those then, too, please. I feel like celebrating. Oh, yes, exactly. What are you celebrating, dear? My future. I've just been reading my horse. It's fascinating, really. Listen to this. The stars all align in your favor. All obstacles will be overcome. What you seek, you shall find. <sighs> Horoscopes. You don't believe in them? Less than I do the tooth fairy. Well, here, maybe this will change your mind, okay? Well, spare me. No, 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 wait. Listen, this is yours. Don't count your chickens before they've hatched. <laughs> 